Hey, and welcome to this introduction to the Pact Online Editor. In this tutorial, you'll learn about the Pact Online Editor, a powerful tool for developing smart contracts with Pact. I'll introduce you to important topics like what the online editor is and what it helps you do. I'll also walk through each part of the interface in detail so that you're more familiar with things like the navigation bar, code editor, and tool panel. The goal of this tutorial is to get you familiar with each of the editor's powerful features so that you can use it to build smart contracts using Pact. As a quick introduction, the Pact Online Editor is a robust development environment for Pact. It gives you access to many useful features for smart contract development. These features allow you to easily build and test smart contracts before deploying them to either your private chain or chain web. More specifically, it's a web-based REPL that allows you to write Pact code manage key sets, deploy smart contracts, and explore other modules that have been deployed to the blockchain. These and many other features make the online editor an ideal place to build, test, and deploy your smart contracts. To get started with the Pact online editor, navigate to pact.cadena.io. The interface consists of three main sections, the code editor, the navigation bar, and the tool panel. The navigation bar includes relevant documentation links and allows you to load code into the REPL or deploy a smart contract. The code editor is an area for writing and editing your smart contracts. The tool panel provides essential functionality needed to manage keys, interact with the REPL, view messages, explore modules, and more. Let's start our tour with a look at the navigation bar. You can locate the navigation bar at the top of the screen. It allows you to load your contract into the REPL or to deploy the contract to a live network. It also shows the packed version number and links to the tutorials, the packed language documentation, and the Kadena homepage. Selecting Load into REPL loads text from the editor into the REPL and executes the commands. You'll use this feature often when exploring the REPL later in this tutorial. The Deploy button is used to deploy smart contracts onto the blockchain. Select Deploy to view the features available to you. Here, you have the option to select a server, choose a few settings, sign the transaction, and more. This tutorial doesn't go over the details of each of these options, but they're useful to know more about. If you'd like, view our Hello World with Pack tutorial for a full description of smart contract deployment with the online editor. You can close this window by either hitting Cancel or the X on the top right. Having explored the navigation bar, let's now turn our attention to the code editor over here on the left. Along with other things, it comes equipped with both inline error reporting and formal verification. Inline error reporting ensures that you have clear direction on how to fix errors that may exist in your code. For example, if you look at line 17 on your smart contract, you'll see there's an error. This and other errors state the issue and help you fix problems that may be affecting your smart contract. You can fix this error by creating an admin key set like it suggests. Creating an admin key set can be done using the tool panel, which we'll go over soon. The editor also supports formal verification. Formal verification is a process for automatically testing the correctness of your code. It mathematically proves that your contract has absolutely no security vulnerabilities. It also alerts you to any potential errors and vulnerabilities, helping you create secure code quickly and effectively. You'll spend most of your time in the code editor when you begin developing smart contracts. Moving on, over on the right of the screen is the tool panel. The tool panel gives you access to many helpful features while developing smart contracts. It helps you set up your environment, run commands in the interactive REPL, read messages, and explore other modules that exist on the network. Select ENV to start addressing errors and creating and managing data and wallets from the UI. Errors can be viewed and fixed using the error section. As you can see here, it currently shows an error that there is no such key in the message admin key set. This error is the same as what you saw previously in the editor. To fix this, select the fix button on the right side of the screen. As you'll see, this creates a key set for you in the data section below. This along with many other errors and warnings can be fixed using this simple tool. Coming up, you'll see how to create this key set manually. For now, remove the admin key set by selecting the X to the right of the recently created key set. The data section allows you to create and manage key sets. To get started, select the input enter key set name, type admin key set, and click create. 
you should now see Admin Key Set appear back under your list of available key sets. You'll also see a drop-down that allows you to select Keys All, Keys To, or Keys Any. These options refer to the number of key signatures required to validate a transaction. Each key you create has its own JSON representation. In the Results tab, you can see the keys you have created shown in JSON format. You can also create keys using the JSON format rather than the user interface. Creating keys with JSON is done using the Raw tab. To create a new key, specify a key set name, keys, and pred, similar to the format seen in the Result tab. Pred is short for predicate function, which you'll learn more about in later tutorials. As the name suggests, key sets hold keys. You can create these keys in the section below data named wallet. To create a key, first enter a key name, then select generate. I'll name mine admin key, but you can choose whatever name you'd like. You should now see the key name, the public key, and the private key you generated. This key is useful anytime you'd like to deploy or interact with a smart contract. For information on this and a more in-depth explanation of keys in PACT, check out the PACT key sets tutorial. So that's the end of keys for now, and we'll move on to the REPL. A great way to get started with PACT is to jump in and start writing code for yourself. The REPL helps you do this quickly and allows you to run PACT commands from directly within the browser. You can run some commands in the REPL now. First, I'll add some numbers. I'll try adding 2 plus 2, and I'll see the value 4. You might notice here that this syntax is different than what you've seen before. PACT uses prefix notation for math operators. Prefix notation is standard in Lisp-like languages like PACT. What this means is that the operator precedes the two values it's operating on, so in this case, the plus sign comes before the two twos. Next, I'll try concatenating strings because it's pretty similar. To concatenate strings, use the plus sign followed by two strings. I'll write hello and REPL. What I get back is hello REPL. While this is just a basic introduction to the commands you can run in PACT, you can find many more in the PACT standard library. Try working through some of these commands to run for yourself. Another great feature is that it's also possible to run REPL commands from the code editor. To get started, delete the existing code from the editor and select REPL from the tool panel. To run commands using the editor, enter a command and select load into REPL at the top of the screen. For example, if I add 2 plus 2 and load this into the REPL, I see the value 4, just like earlier. Another feature you'll use often is the messages that PACT provides. Code editors often provide messages to developers that help them with identifying errors and log outputs. These are useful ways to debug programs and fix potential issues with your contract. In the PACT online editor, these messages can be seen in the Messages tab in the toolbar. If you try running code that the REPL doesn't quite understand, it'll let you know here. Another powerful tool provided by the online editor is the Module Explorer. The Module Explorer allows you to load example contracts, deployed contracts, and to run functions on any contract that exists within the network. Click on the button Module Explorer to get started. Here, you'll see a section for example contracts and a section for deployed contracts. The Example Contract section allows you to load example contracts directly into your editor. You can use this code however you'd like and can always come back to reload the code again if needed. When you first loaded pack.cadena.io, the formal verification contract shown here was automatically loaded. Select View, Open to reload this contract. Similar to the formal verification contract, you can also view other smart contracts. Select View, Open on any smart contract to load the code used to create it. You can also view a summary of functions that exist within any smart contract from within the Module Explorer. After selecting View on a contract, you'll see an overview of these functions. Here, I can see all of the functions for the example contract, Simple Payment. You can also view any contract that has been deployed to the network from the Module Explorer. You can search by name, by chain, or by navigating the pages using the arrow buttons. Once you find a particular contract, select View. You can also call functions on modules from within the editor. While it helps to know more about a contract before calling its functions, Here's one you can try right now. Search for Hello World Tutorial and select View. From there, select Call on the Hello function. The input of this function should be a string. I'll write Packed. From there, hit Call, and the result will show in your REPL. This function will say Hello to whatever string you pass in. 
That wraps up this overview of the Pact Online Editor. Throughout this tutorial, you learned the basics of the editor and explored its interface and features in more depth. The Pact Online Editor is an excellent tool built to make developing smart contracts with Pact both fun and simple. Take some time now to explore each of the features we discussed and get used to navigating this new environment. As you get started, you can reach out on our Discord channel or ask questions in Stack Overflow using hashtag PactLang. As you continue with Pact, you'll use this tool regularly to explore new ideas, write smart contracts, manage key sets, and explore modules. So good luck, and when you're ready, I'll see you in the next tutorial.